All right, so here we have the Ender 3 Max Neo. So this is Creality's latest, greatest versions, and the Max here brings a lot to the table with its large printing volume. And what's great about the Neo version is you get everything you would want with all the little upgrades and updates from Creality, plus this little splash of red, and of course, an all new hot end heat break, which works very well. Now, with that said, there's one thing that I like much better than what this printer comes with, and that's gonna be the build plate. So it comes with the Creality's glass with the perforated coating on it which the glass itself is great because it stays very flat and the coating when it heats up the prints stick but when it cools off they really pop off easily which for the most part works great but over time these beds do wear out don't stick so well and another issue is that if you print larger items they're a lot harder to get off a bed like this because it's not flexible and there's not an easy way to get it out you can't unclip it and pull it out but it's just a hassle and another thing that's quite a big negative about a bed like this is that once your print is done you have to wait till it completely cools off which could take a while because most of the time the prints won't come off unless it's completely cold to the touch and you guys probably noticed we have the upgrade here which is a PEI sheet for this printer which I'm pretty excited to upgrade to let's remove the bill plate and we're just gonna unclip these front clips and then pry it up and it slides out the back ones and again, this thing works pretty good. It is glass, which is a plus because it's really flat, but the PEI is just much better. So this one here is from Pergear and it's actually branded by them. And this is how it comes in in this plastic protector. And you can see on the back here, we got a really big sticker and that's how it installs. So yeah, this is the latest PEI sheets and these are awesome. They have like a nice texture to them and it's a pretty thin, steel sheet that magnetizes to the bottom part which is the mat and it's magnetic and actually on this one it's quite unique because it has the same surface on both sides wow i don't think i've seen that before that's actually a great idea so you have both sides to use by the way these are super durable and last pretty much forever but yeah because this is so thin if you print large models on here you can pop them off really easy because you can just bend this thing it's like a steel sheet so and the magnetic mat is just a big magnet, not too thick. And we have that sticker that we will basically stick it on to our aluminum plate. Now, before we can do that, we need to get rid of these clips that are on the bed. So the Ender 3 Max has this cool little storage on the bottom. And there's actually a little secret storage underneath the channel also. And you can store your little tools in here, which is a really nice touch. So I'm gonna grab the Allen wrench we need to remove these little bolts which hold these clips and they do have a locking nut on the bottom that kind of holds it all together. And I'm gonna put these in the little secret tray. We're gonna simply just undo these guys and put them away for later. So the two front ones are out and you guys can see we have two on the back and they connect exactly the same way as the front. And looks like we do need some pliers to hold the nut as these in the back are a little more stubborn. All right, so one down, one to go. All right. And now we have a nice clean area to stick our magnetic mat to. Now one thing to maybe consider here, and this is 300 by 300, so it's kind of like a big square, but you still want to line it up. So for my printer here, it looks like it's a little bit short on the front and back, which is kind of interesting. And also another thing you might want to consider is see how well this thing sticks to the mat, you know, and where it's most even, if that makes any sense. So. But for the steel sheet, it seems like anywhere you put it, that's where it'll stick, so. So yeah, on my printer here, it looks like that the aluminum bed is about five millimeters bigger than this sheet here. So I think I'm gonna aim to go closer to the front. So let's go ahead and raise the x-axis. And I'm gonna bring you guys up so you can see a little better, but yeah. I'm just gonna probably cover up these holes here. And then whatever's left in the back, we'll leave it the way it is. All right. So you want to be pretty careful sticking this on because if you mess it up, it'll be extremely hard to, you know, try to pry this thing back off. So make sure, you know, you line up exactly where you want to be. Work from one corner out. So I'm probably going to choose to go from here that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to start peeling it on the back side, just a little section of it. And then we're going to align it up. So you want to line up your front perfectly. And then when you're happy, you can kind of set it down there on that corner. So just make sure everything is lining up everywhere all around. So once you're pretty confident that this is where it needs to be, we can slowly go underneath and start pulling the rest of the sticker out. And we can keep checking here, make sure we're still on the right track. And it looks like we are. You wanna massage it in as you go so it goes down nice and even. But yeah, I think we got ours lined up here exactly 
where we wanted it. So yeah, I'm actually pretty happy with that. And now we can grab our sheet and install it onto the magnet. And you guys can see we have, you know, some aluminum showing on the front and the back. And we do have a tab here that I didn't think about, which we can still use obviously, because it sticks out quite a bit farther. But yeah, if you want that tab to stick out more, maybe go more to the front, so. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with how it is. All right, so 30 plus hours later, and we have the octopus printed out. And as you guys can see, everything's stuck to the bill plate, which is a good sign, and nothing broke loose, and everything seems to be printed out perfectly. And so the bed is cooled off completely, so this probably will come off. Yeah, it's coming off super easy, and that's exactly what I thought was gonna happen, but yeah, let's go ahead and try to raise the sheet and see what happens. Okay, yeah, it just all broke loose. You guys can see that pretty much, so. Got some tentacles here holding on, barely, but yeah. This PEI sheet works extremely well. And this is why you'd want to upgrade to it, is for this reason exactly, printing large models like this would be a breeze to take off. Now another thing that I didn't mention is that because we removed the glass and went to the PEI, we did reduce weight quite a bit, as glass is quite heavy. So that should definitely help with ringing and vibrations on the Y axis. And overall, this kind of build platform is an excellent upgrade to this printer. And if you haven't considered the Ender Max Neo as your next printer, I would highly recommend it, especially having a build volume of 300 by 300 by 320 gives you quite a lot of volume to work with.